Let's find out these three limits. Fundamentally important because in the future videos I will be using these results to help to help me prove the derivatives and to deal with other types of problems related to calculus. Of course, uh, here let's just pretend we don't know about L'Hopital's rule because when we realize that it's a zero over zero type as x approaches zero, it's zero at the bottom, and the log of uh, one still approaches zero, right? So zero over zero. But let's just pretend we don't know about L'Hopital's rule, right? So the first limit is equal to limit of x approaches zero. Let's do some transformation to it. So according to the logarithm rule, we can just rewrite it as logarithm of one plus x to the power of one over x. Right, that's what it means. X at the bottom means one over x times logarithm. So I can just uh, put the one over x up to the power. So now, because remember, x approaches zero means one over x, one over x, uh, whether x is approaching from the right hand side or left hand, has left hand side of zero, it doesn't matter. One over x is either going to approach positive infinity or negative infinity, right? If, it, if, it's approach, if x is approaching from the right hand side, then x, x is approaching zero. Okay, so, pause, so one plus, so if, so in that case, one over x is approaching positive, uh, positive infinity, and x is approaching to zero from the right hand side, always bigger than zero. So in that case, the inside is approaching e. If x is approaching from the left hand side of zero, likewise, the inside, x is approaching zero from the, from the negative side, right? But then one over x is approaching negative, negative infinity. In that case, doesn't matter, still approaching e. So logarithm of e is actually one. So that is one. So move on to the second limit. Right, second limit, I'm going to let a to the power of x minus one equal to y. Then a to the power of x should equal to one plus y. Take the logarithm on both sides. Logarithm of a to the power of x is equal to logarithm of one plus y. Take down the x. Then we have x is equal to logarithm of uh, 1 plus y over logarithm of a. Then let's just uh, re-substitute -sub it back, right? The top becomes y, right? And the bottom becomes uh, this part, right? Logarithm of 1 plus y over logarithm of a and which is simply becomes uh, becomes that right so this looks familiar y over logarithm of 1 plus y right i just need to replace x with y right logarithm of 1 plus y over y approach 1 here is a reciprocal, still approach one, right? Just y over logarithm of one plus y, approach one. So this should easily approach one times log a, should easily approach log of a as, uh, as y approach zero, right? So when x approaches zero, when x approaches zero, a to the power of zero is, uh, is one. One minus one is zero. So y also approaches zero, right? So in fact, this really approaches logarithm of a. So the last limit, last limit, first of all, I'm going to change the base. 
Uh, here I have a base of 1 plus x. I'm going to change it into base of e. Right? It's almost like a reflex every time we're dealing with uh, uh, exponential functions or maybe our power functions. Right? So it becomes e to the power of uh, logarithm of uh, 1 plus x to the power of alpha. Take down the alpha. Alpha times logarithm of uh, 1 plus x minus 1 over x. Right? Still the same expression. Now I'm going to take advantage of my result of my second limit. I know this limit is equal to that. The only difference is that here I have uh, the base of a, power of x. There I have the base of e, power of this whole quantity. But shouldn't matter at all. Let me just multiply it by something. First of all, I'm going to write the x down here. Then I'm going to multiply it by... So a to the power of x minus 1, bottom is x x, x. So the power is this stuff. So I should write down this stuff at the bottom, right? Alpha times logarithm of 1 plus x. Right? Just treat alpha times logarithm of 1 plus x as a whole entity. Right? e to the power of a whole entity minus 1 over a whole entity. Right? a to the power of some entity minus 1 over some the same entity. Same thing. Of course, I have to multiply by the same thing, right? Alpha times logarithm of 1 plus x at the top. Then according to this lemma, we've proven, right? This limit is equal to logarithm of whatever the base, right? Base is a, then logarithm of a. In this case, my base is, uh, of course, as x approaches 0, does this whole quantity approach 0? Logarithm of 1 is 0. 0 times alpha is 0. Yes, approach is 0. So, can use that lemma. That way is the log a. Here, the base is e, then it's log e, right? So, this quantity actually approaches log e. Log e is actually 1, right? So, this whole quantity approaches 1. How about this quantity? As x approaches 0. Again, looks like something familiar, right? Logarithm of 1 plus x over x, that's my first lemma, right? We already know that this quantity approaches 1. And we're only left with alpha at the top. So this whole quantity approaches alpha as x approaches 0.